Bernoulli's equation is named after the mathematician who discovered the principle in 1738. It focuses on a steady, incompressible flow of fluid using the principle of conservation of energy. It is used to analyze pressure and velocity of a steadily flowing fluid. The symbols in Bernoulli's equation represent different constants and variables. Here is Bernoulli's equation. The character rho, which looks like a cursive P, represents the density of the fluid. The density of water is always 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed. The V represents the velocity of the fluid. The capital P represents static pressure. The G represents acceleration due to gravity, which on Earth's surface is 9.8 meters per second squared. And H is the vertical distance from your reference line. Bernoulli can be applied to this dam in Lowell along the Pawtucket Canal to find the velocity of the water exiting the pipe at the base. As you can see, the dam is quite simple. The water flows through the pipe under the dam and exits on the other side. This is needed to keep the water from overflowing the dam. So how are we going to apply Bernoulli's equation to this dam to find the velocity of that water without taking any difficult measurements? It's easy. Each part of Bernoulli's equation has a special role in the overall picture. But first, we need to pick two points to apply Bernoulli's equation across. But we can't pick just any points. We need to pick two points along one streamline which a single fluid particle might travel along. A streamline cannot go through any pumps or turbines, but since there aren't any in our dam, we don't have to worry about that. We do want to make sure we can figure out the height difference between the two points. And we also want to make sure the points we pick give us some more information so that we have something to work with. With that said, if we pick our first point to be at the surface of the water behind the dam, we will already know velocity, static pressure, and density. The velocity is zero because the surface of the water isn't moving, and the density of water is constant. The static pressure at point one is standard atmospheric pressure because we are close to sea level. In fact, as long as the weather, air temperature, and elevation stay about the same, the atmospheric pressure will also stay the same wherever you go. The pressure is the same here, as it is here, and here. Even if I went to Los Angeles, California, if they're having a nice day like we're having here today, pressure will be the same. The only other thing we need to think about is H. But if we pick our reference line to be at the base of the dam, all you will have to find out is how deep the water is behind the dam. Let's pretend we already know that the water is 15 meters deep. Our second point is a more obvious choice. We need to place it where we need our information. So point two goes right at the exit of the pipe, where the water is coming out. We still know the static pressure, because we aren't underwater, and we still know the density, because the density of water doesn't change, even under pressure. And if you notice, our second point is right on the reference line, so H2 is zero. The only thing we don't know is velocity, but that's why we are here, right? The rest is easy. All you have to do now is solve for the one unknown. Check it out. Now you will see visually how to simplify and solve Bernoulli's equations. Here is everything we know. Now, plug everything you know into the equation. Now to simplify, some things cancel out. Then, get the unknown variable alone. All you have to do now is plug the numbers into your calculator to get an answer. 17.15 meters per second. So without having to measure the pipe, or use a radar gun, or even get your feet wet, you can calculate the velocity of the water within minutes. 
All you need to know is the height difference between the water behind the dam and the end of the pipe on the other side. Who knows what else Bernoulli can help you with?